Hi guys, welcome to Val's Kitchen Eats and today I'm very excited to make this delicious recipe with you guys. It's gonna be shrimp two ways. It's gonna be an hors d'oeuvre with a delicious mango chili salsa. These are the ingredients that you will need for this recipe. Okay, let's begin. All right guys, so the first step is preheating your oil. I got the oil right here in the pot. Just making sure that I'm giving myself enough room so it doesn't boil over when I place my shrimp sticks in there to fry. And I'm gonna look at the thermometer, I'm waiting for it to hit around 350, and then I'm gonna control the heat from there. So let's jump into making our salsa first. All right, I'll get my cutting board. Okay. So for the salsa, we will need rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, soy sauce, ginger paste goes in sweet chili sauce a little spicy okay that goes in green onions I'll just do that right here just like that red bell pepper All right. Just like that. It's a really nice fresh pepper. Chili pepper. Okay. Half. Same thing. The white part needs to come out. All right. Seeds. I mean. With this coronavirus, we shouldn't be touching our face, period, but definitely after touching this pepper, you don't want to put your fingers anywhere close to your face, or you will be regretting it. All right, just like that, chop it. With the stems and everything, cilantro. It's not good to use parsley stems, but cilantro stems, they're really good. And then your sauce or anything you're making, you can always use them. All right, our garlic. Brush it. So making garlic paste, basically. Mango. I pre-washed everything, so now it's nice and clean. Make sure you wash all your vegetables, fruits. Who knows where it's been, what truck, what box, who was handling it. So you cut the base, base is off, so now it's stable, it's not moving on you. And you go around the pit with your knife, as close as you can, so the pit is still inside. And just like that. Okay, once you got these two beautiful pieces right here, you just, with your knife, holding it lightly here, and you go underneath, like that. One. We need dices, so just like this. Okay, so now everything's chopped up. Gotta make sure we don't forget about our oil. Let me just check on it. We're at like 310, 315, good. All right, so let's season our mango salsa here. Give it a good mix. All right, time to taste it. Mmm, wow. Needs nothing, good as it is, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just wrap this up with some plastic, put it in the fridge, and let it sit, and let all those flavors marry while we're working on our shrimp. Be right back. Okay guys, so this is the fun part, okay? Skewering the shrimp and breading the shrimp. I got two eggs in my bowl. I'm gonna season them. A little salt, a little pepper. Whisk it. Okay. Add a little cold water, just a touch, not much. Okay, like that, ready. Now, with our shrimp, your skewers, 
We got a whole bunch here, yep, just like that. They sell them anywhere these days. Okay, so you guys can find them basically in any store. And you start from the bottom, go right through, hold it in your hand, and you go right through the whole shrimp. Okay, the skewer part does not have to come all the way out. You can actually leave a little bit. So this is the skewer. All right, one. One more time, right from the back, goes all the way through the flesh of the shrimp and not all the way, that's it. All right guys, so I got all the shrimp skewered, ready to go. I'm gonna start with my flour, just plain flour, goes right in here. Salt, pepper. Mix it up. Okay, and now it's time to flour all the shrimp. Okay. Just like that. All right guys, so I got all my shrimp covered in flour. Okay, the reason for that is so the egg mixture can stick to it. Okay, not just roll off right off the shrimp. Okay, so I don't need this any longer. Okay. Now it's time, let's make our coconut shrimp first. So half of the panko goes in, the coconut flakes go in, cinnamon, just a little touch, don't overdo it, and seasoned. Okay. The shrimp goes in our egg mixture. Okay, and gets coated with the coconut and panko. Okay, just like that. This process takes a few minutes, just so you get everything coated. All right guys, so now I'm done breading all that shrimp. We did half of it in our coconut coating. I'm gonna set it aside, and we'll start with our sesame. Same thing, panko, sesame. Okay, shrimp. Okay. Just like this. Set aside. Okay, guys, I'm done with our coconut and sesame skewers. Let's bring them over. Let's check on our oil. We're at 350. Excellent. So, one thing if you guys don't have the thermometer, you can check the oil by just throwing something in there and seeing if it sizzles like that. Then it's hot, ready to go. All right, so let's begin. Let's cook our coconut shrimp first. We'll do it in batches. I got these four here. All right, and we go in. It only takes short amount of time because it's shrimp. Shrimp cooks really, really fast. So this won't take long at all. All right, they're done. So this is what you're looking for, for nice golden color. Okay. Okay, this is the second batch. I'm just checking, looking for the golden, just a few seconds more. So this process takes about two to three minutes. It all depends, you know, how much oil you have in your pot because once you put anything in your oil, it brings the temperature of the oil down and then it just takes so long for it to come back up to cook your product that went in. So I do it kind of visually and with shrimp, really doesn't take long, like I said. So beautiful, nice and golden. They come out like that. And Anything you take out of the fryer needs to be seasoned right away. A little salt. So my oil has dropped lightly. I'm gonna wait a few minutes for it to come back up to 350. And then we're gonna continue cooking our sesame shrimp. All right, so the oil is at 350 and let's continue cooking our shrimp in here, like that. Okay, 
they are ready to come out. Turn it off. Okay. Again, season right after. Set. All right, and now it's time to tray them up and I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, the shrimp skewers are all done. Let's get right into the tasting. So I'll present it just the way you see it here. Beautiful, nice presentation on a cutting board. And your guests will do something like this. Grab a skewer, put it on their napkin. If they wish to eat it with some sauce, put some sauce. All right, let's see. Mmm. It is delicious. Oh. The coconut, all the vegetables and the fruits, they all come together in that chili sauce. It is a really, really good appetizer or hors d'oeuvre for your guests. So, if you guys enjoy this recipe, please like, subscribe for more to come. We enjoy having you on our channel. Thank you.